cage Hungry hearts in a rage Glowing eyes in a daze Turning around in a hurry Hoping you will come along I'm running as fast Desperate need of a plan It's the work of one little man I'm fading out from the story Am I a passionate man? So we are gearing up for the weekend and we're going to be trying to, we'll see what happens. We're supposed to have some good weather, but I may, uh, I may end up doing a little milling this weekend. So I've got to get these cleaned up anyway. Boy, this young bark's a lot easier than the older stuff down the, down the log there. But, um, But anyway, I'd like to get these cleaned off because otherwise, you know, I've had so many questions on why do you bother doing that. Not everybody cleans them before they go on the mill, but the thing is it just makes it so much easier on the sawmill and on the blades if you debark these logs because you're taking all the dirt. I mean, I've got a lot of dirt on these things from hauling them out of the woods through a sandy mowed uh, cornfield and they just got caked. I mean, this bark is just caked. Now this is something I should have done a long time ago, but I cut these logs towards the end of summer. And the problem with that is the bark is super tight on the logs that time of year. If you get them in early spring, the bark just comes right off like a coat, you know. But I'm very, very pleased with this tool here. It's so much easier than my bark spud was. And it just gets under there and just peels that lock or that. Peels it right off. Let's see if I go over the end of the log here. But that's all we're up here. That's all we're up to here tonight is just trying to get a little bit done. We've got rain coming in tomorrow. About Saturday and Sunday looks pretty good. And not as warm as I'd like to see it for this time of year, but that's all right. Of course, if I slip with this knife, I won't ever have to worry about having kids again. Not that I plan on any, but uh, you know how that goes. Geez, maybe it wouldn't be a terrible thing. in a cage Hungry hearts in a rage Glowing eyes in a daze Turning 
I tell you what, these bigger logs, they are a lot of fun to, to peel that bark off, especially if you cut them too late in the season. The, the bark just kind of hangs right on there and it does not want to come off. But uh, I tell you what, this thing, believe it or not, it may look a little silly, that banana curve there, but it is making my life a lot easier. That curve kind of helps it be a little more concentrated where it bites into the log or into the bark, and I kind of like that quite a bit. It was, to be honest with you, that was an accident, that curve in this draw knife. So when I was forging this thing out, I didn't have my anvil high enough, so I was hitting that metal on an angle with a hammer, and it made that banana shape. And I got looking at it, it's like, geez, I, I kind of like that. that uh, I, I really kind of like that. So. I figured I'd try it out. I've never had one like this. I've never used one like this before. In fact, I've never had a draw knife this big in my life before, but uh, very pleased with it, very happy with it. But anyway, if you missed uh, yesterday's video, we have a uh, draw knife giveaway going on here on this channel. I will put a link to that video below here. If uh, all you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment in that video and you will be I will be drawing the name out of the comment section of that video. There's a program that I could feed that video into and it'll do a uh, random drawing out of it and that's how we're going to do it. If you're in the U.S., um, it's free shipping. If you live outside of the U.S., you will have to cover shipping, but I don't want to exclude anybody from being able to win that thing, but I just want to make it up front about the shipping and all that but anyway like i said i'll put the description of the video below or i'll da, 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 da. can't talk why can i never talk anymore i don't know if it's who knows who knows just can't talk but uh anyway i will put a link in the description below to that video and you can kind of enter there to uh chance to pull that little draw knife it's just a six inch draw knife a small one for doing uh axe handles it's a straight straight knife but the uh Handles will be curved very much like this one, and they will be out of black walnut that are coming from Out of the Woods Forestry. Uh, check out Nathan, his channel. I'll put a link in the description below. And a uh, new friend of the channel, Killinger, he, uh, he has a channel on axe making, things like that. And he also does a lot of leather work. He has offered to make a sheath for that draw knife because I am no good at leather work yet. So. He has offered to do that, and I'm going to take him up on that. Please check his channel out. That would be great. Help him out. You know, we gotta got to help us fellow smaller channels grow, you know. Somebody's got to help us out, so might as well be each other. But anyway, enough of that. This, uh, this weekend, it looks like halfway decent weather, so I'm going to try to get more frame up. I'm trying to get these logs ready to go on the mill. Everything in here is frozen again to the slab, so... As soon as it thaws out again, I really need to go through and get this place cleaned up. It's kind of nice. We're getting to a point in this project where there's not a lot of milling left to do. So a lot of that mess can get cleaned up. And to be honest with you, when we get the last of these logs milled up, and I've got some more I have to haul home, I'll be able to take half of this sawmill right up. I mean, I won't need 28 feet of track to do uh, milling for cabinets and stuff like that. But uh, anyway... Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. It's just an update of what's going on, and that's why this is a vlog. So we will catch you on the next one. I hope you have a wonderful evening.